I thought <laughs> I would tell you guys a little bit about them just in case there's any other dog lovers out there who would want to know about these cute little puppies I have here. Hey guys! So, um, <laughs> it is September 6th, or 6th, yeah, it's September 6th, and it is like 60 degrees outside, but we have been so lazy recently that we just need to go out and go for a walk. We went for a walk the other day, it wasn't quite as cold, but we're gonna, <laughs> we need a walk, we need to go for a walk. They're going crazy, we're going crazy. Um, we're in kind of like a PCS, like weight or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you want to call it. A PCS purgatory or something where we're just kind of packed up, living in the house, just waiting to, to, to move, just waiting to move. And it's, you know, getting really old. Um, the dogs are just, again, they're getting, they're being really lazy. They're sleeping all day. And we just need to get out and get some fresh air and do something. Um, and especially, you know, with my husband not being home, it's a lot more boring in this house. And all my friends just moved away like a couple weeks ago. So it's, uh, we need to get out and do something. I even have, I put tennis shoes on. I have a sweatshirt. <laughs> He's excited. I have a, t a sweatshirt on and I couldn't find this tennis shoes. that I, I only found one of the tennis shoes I was going to wear that looks better with this. Um, but it's not a fashion show, so I'm just gonna wear these tennis shoes, and I, this is the first time I've worn tennis shoes since last year, so I'm actually kind of excited to just go out and wear tennis shoes and not have flip-flops. Alright, well, we are gonna go for a walk. Where are we gonna go? Are we gonna go on a trip? Huh? <gasps> are you so excited? You're not getting as excited as I normally do. He's like, oh no, I'm gonna go to the groomer again. Jackson, are you excited? Oh, you're so excited. You ready? You ready to go? You ready to go for a walk, huh? You ready to go for a walk? Yes. My headphones in. I'm going to have my country music blaring. It's going to be a good walk. I'm excited. My goodness I look like a mess so it was hotter out than I thought this morning there wasn't really any Sun outside so it was definitely a lot cooler <laughs> this morning it <laughs> I ended up rolling my sleeves up because it was it, it was hot and now my hair is all gross and disgusting but I'm glad we went. The dogs are panting, so that's a good sign that they got a little bit of exercise. Even Jax is panting, and he doesn't pan very often, so I think it was good. We weren't out too, too long, but it was good enough for us to get up and get moving. So, since I had the dogs in a video today, I thought <laughs> I would tell you guys a little bit about them, just in case there's any other dog lovers out there who would want to know about these cute little puppies I have here. So, Jax is three and a half, and he'll be four, um, around four. He was adopted, um, so... We think he was around a year old when we adopted him, and we adopted him in March. So, he'll be four in March, from what we think. Alright, Jax, is that enough? Do you want to continue to interrupt? I mean, it is about you, so I guess you can. You are so cute, but you're my way. Um, so, we had just got married, and he left to go somewhere, and I was in an apartment by myself. So, I was like... I really want a dog. I need someone to be in the apartment with me since I'm not I'm gonna be by myself. So, I mean, I've loved dogs since I was old enough to love dogs. I had my first tattoo was a paw print tattoo in a heart. It's somewhere you can't really see right now. Um, so I have that, and then I got this recently, which is I guess I can't really kind of see. Um, and I, you know, I, I mean, they're my life. I am obsessed with dogs. I just, 
I have a golden retriever necklace and I have a beagle necklace. Um, but anyway, so I'm like, I need a dog. So I, as soon as he said that it was okay for me to get a dog, I went to every shelter I could find. I obviously went on Pet Finder first to kind of look at if there were any dogs that, um, look at him, if any dogs that I was definitely going to want to go look at. And he actually did happen to be one of the dogs that I had seen. And um, if I think I, I saw the picture. If I find the picture, I'll put it here. Um, so he was so, so cute when I went to the shelter and saw him. He was like the fifth shelter I'd gone to. Most of the other shelters had bigger dogs. And at the apartment that I was in, you couldn't have a dog over 35 pounds. So he ended up being the perfect size. But I went in and he was the first dog. And I'm like, he looks really familiar. And I didn't really think anything of it until later. But... I was like, you know, I want to see him. He's really cute. They said he was a beagle mix. Um, we did a DNA test and it ends up, or we found out that he is a beagle Australian Shepherd Pekingese mix. It's some, it's some mix we have here. So when I went up to his kennel the first time before I actually took him out of the kennel, uh, he was chewing on, or he was getting peanut butter out of a Kong. And I was like, hey bud, come here. And he look, kind of looked at me like, what do you want from me? And so he got up slowly after I'm like, come here, bud. And he <laughs> came up, looked at me, and put his paw outside of the um, kennel door, like on this, like, whatever. It, he put his, his paw out of the kennel and, like, pet me. You need to pet me now. So I took his little paw and I was petting his paw. And I think I have a picture of that, too. Um, if Again, if I have it, I'll show you. And he had a little green sweater on, and it was so, so cute. And when I went out and played with him, he was just the sweetest little thing, and he wanted to love on me and play, and he was just he was just so cute. Um, and I played with a couple other dogs at that shelter, but I was like, no, I, I kept thinking about him with every other dog that I was uh, playing with. Um, I was like, all right, well, he's the guy. And so that's kind of how... I came about getting my Jaxi boy, and again, he, we don't really know how old he was. They told us that he was found on the streets of Camden, Camden, New Jersey. Uh, we don't really know anything else. He was taken to a kill shelter in Camden, and he was there for about a week, and then this high turnaround shelter took him in to theirs because... That they're not, there are no kill shelter, and they have a lot of people come in and adopt dogs there. So they rescued him from there, and he got neutered and everything, and shots. And he was there for maybe a week at the new shelter until I came and got him. So they had named him Gator. He's definitely not a Gator, he's a Jax. And um, I mean, he's just a little lover. And I love Sons of Anarchy, so. I, so Jax, Jax Teller, um, and he, you know, he tries to be a little bit of a tough guy, but he loves everybody, kind of like Jax Teller, so I thought it fit pretty well. But look how cute he is. Hi, Bubby. Oh my goodness, hello. What are you doing? See, look at him. He is so cute. Oh no. What are you doing, Bubby? Huh? I know. I know. You're so cute. You are so, oh, you're going to show off. Are you going to show off, huh? Are you going to show off? You love mommy's heating pad, don't you? You love it. You love it. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Oh, I had recorded the cutest thing of Jax, and I didn't realize it stopped recording. So I had to do the entire thing over again, and you missed him being so cute. Like, he was being freaking adorable he was upside down and showing his smile and just being the cutest freaking puppy in the world i'm so upset i wasn't recording what is wrong with me i think i hit it by mistake i hope i don't do that again um anyway so i'm not really sure where i left off but i'm pretty sure i did the whole story of Jax, and he was named gator and now he's named Jax, and and all that stuff and how cute he is 
Um, so how we got Oliver is, it's right, Oliver. Um, we were going, we, so we got Jax and then we moved and then after being in, being there where we had um, a bunch of foster dogs and we did pet sitting, we moved here and we didn't have all those other dogs for him to play with. So we're like, all right, let's get another dog. And so we looked at a couple of shelter events and stuff, and we couldn't agree on any dog. I loved all of them. I wanted to take them all home, but there was no dog that Tyler fell in love with. So I was just like, I really want another dog. So I saw a uh, post on Facebook about someone who had golden retriever puppies, and Tyler's golden retriever back home had just passed away. So. I showed him the picture of the puppies, and they were pretty cheap. They're only uh, three fifty. So we, he's like, "All right, let's let's do it. Let's get him." <laughs> and so, like twenty minutes later, we were driving to go pick him up, and there were just two puppies left. They're both boys, and they kind of looked the same or acting the same. So we just picked one. And when we were in the car on the way back, we were kind of just going over names. And then, like after twenty names, we said Oliver. And he gave me a kiss on the face. It was so cute. And I'm like, oh, do you like that name? And he was, um, I kind of just said a couple other names just to kind of see if he would do it again. And then I said Oliver again. And he licked my face. Like, oh, you fell. <laughs> and he licked my face again. So I'm like, all right, well, his name's Oliver. When we got home, I still wasn't sold on Oliver. So I looked up um, unique names just because I did. And the first name was Oliver. So his name's Oliver. And it really fits him. I love the name Oliver now. And I'm really glad that... Oh, my hair's a mess. I'm sorry. I'm really glad that we named him Oliver. I'm kind of a little bit upset, though, because I really like the name for, like, a boy, a baby boy. But we have our baby boy Oliver. So I'll put a picture in somewhere of him and his little puppy cuteness. I do have a video um, on my channel that is him growing up. It is a cute little video. Um, I'll put the link below if I can figure out how to do that. But that's kind of the story of my two puppies. And they're so cute. You're going to see them in a million videos. And you're going to see this green freaking ball in every video because he's obsessed with this ball. <laughs> Boys, you want to say anything? Come here. Good boy. Can you spin? Good boy. Sit. Good boy. That's down. Come on. Sit. Wait. Paw. Good boy. Hi, Jackson. Hi, Jackson. Oh, you gonna sit on Daddy's chair? Huh? Are you gonna sit on Daddy's chair? I actually have a picture of him sitting on that chair. The first picture I ever took of him. I'll find that picture and put that in there too, because that is so cute. I thought we were done, but you wanted to give me kisses. You wanted to give me kisses? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Say bye, guys. Bye. You want to say bye, Jax? Hey, bye, guys. Boy, I just want to look mommy's makeup off. <laughs> Alan, you want to say bye? I can't figure out how to flip the camera around. Say bye, guys. Say bye. See you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see the puppies. 